Thank you, Michael. Well, new this morning, Tahlequah High School announcing it'll be moving to distance learning for the day. It says it's taking the day off due to tragic events that happened yesterday and would be best for the interest of its students. Two News did reach out to Tahlequah Police for more information on this incident. Now, police did confirm there was a shooting on Monday. But they could not say any more as this case has been turned over to the FBI. We'll keep you updated as we do learn more. Well, Bixby High School is about to get bigger. The district breaking ground today on a new academic building. Tunis Oklahoma is Amanda Slee joining us from the construction site. Amanda, when I actually talked to the superintendent a couple weeks ago, uh, Superintendent Rob Miller, he really was emphasizing that this is a very important building, but people really need to take it slow in dropping students off, maybe picking them up, asking families to uh, in the district uh, for some patience here. That's right, Justin. Uh, as you can see behind me, I'm right next to that construction area. There's a fence uh, keeping everything contained, so it's not really going to be affecting students while they're at school. And right now it doesn't look like it's going to be affecting traffic, but it is still dark. Now work on that building is expected to be completed in 2024. The price tag on that building is $72 million, funded by the 2016 and 2022 school bonds. The building will add another 200 100,000 square feet of learning space to ac help accommodate the growing district. Just last year, Superintendent Rob Miller says Bixby grew almost 12% in terms of student enrollment. That's over 700 students, and that growth isn't stopping as he says the district is gaining a couple hundred more this year. So during construction, Miller asks for everyone's patience and grace. It's going to inconvenience people because it's right there on the existing campus. We've got that construction area fenced off, but uh, it's going to be tricky getting people in and out, getting our buses in, getting our parents in, getting students in and out. The building will be packed with amenities inside the building. They'll have a variety of learning spaces, including 60 new classrooms, multiple collaboration spaces and several college style lecture halls. It will be filled with new technology, a broadcasting studio, a student innovation center and even research hubs for their college and career center. And also to improve student life, there will be a Spartan cafe and coffee bar, school spirit store, health and wellness areas, along with a large meeting room. The safety is also a top priority when it comes to this building. They will have a safe, severe weather safe area as well as controlled access to the school. Again, that construction is supposed to be completed and building opening in 2024. Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma.